Hello, my name is Elizabeth Paunovic. I'm a medical doctor and I'm the head of WHO European Centre for Environment and Health in Bonn. 1.4 million people die each year in WHO region due to the exposure to different environmental factors and in our everyday life we face uh, with the issues that can endanger our health like uh, water safety, air quality, chemicals management, climate change and all these uh, impacts can harm our health, can influence our health and well-being, the quality of our life, and as I said, we can die prematurely. WHO is supporting uh, member states in implementing national actions in the area of environment and uh, health by providing so-called science policy interface. We are uh, providing uh, scientific evidence that should be used and have to be used in uh, the development of uh, policies, not only in health sector, but in all other sectors. And uh, it is extremely important that we apply precautionary principle while doing that, and not to wait that sufficient amount of people should die or get sick while we take an action. At Ostrava we are promoting and uh, trying to achieve all of government approach in uh, implementing policies and interventions related to environment and health in uh, WHO European region. But more important, we don't need only all of government, but we need all of society approach. So the actions of the civil society, of non-governmental organizations on uh, promoting health and well-being through improved environments and uh, by uh, raising awareness is really, really important. We would like to support member states and to promote the actions which would lead to a common uh, sustainable development of all the countries which are framed by the 2030 development agenda.